Agro Suede and welcome everybody to Agro Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Junior Suede. In today's video feature, I'm just gonna give you some tips on growing your sweet pepper, whether it's bell pepper, um, California Wonder, or any other sweet pepper, and it might also apply to seasoning pepper. And also, I'd just like to mention these um, peppers, I got them from the newly opened Eye Culture Center in um, Portsmouth, for those of you in Dominica. This is the sweet pepper they're selling, and this is how it grows. So if you observe, these peppers are doing very, very well, remarkably well. I'm just going to give you two tips on growing sweet peppers. Um, first thing, these, if you observe, they are very short. This is here. This one, this one, and this one. They are short and they are bearing. What I did is that I cut the palm plants, maybe about, when it was about six inches tall, I cut it halfway, so three inches. And what happened is that it sent a lot more branches on the side and it didn't grow up tall. So in certain branches on the side, it's bearing, but it's bearing from the side because all the branches came out from the side of it. And same thing for here. This one, I cut the top. I cut the top here, between there, and it just stays short and it's bearing. I'm using this to protect my plants from crabs. When they were young, crabs would come and cut it up. For matter of fact, let me just show you a good example of that, why I use it. Now this is looking nice and red, but if you observe, in this, actually I, I noticed it earlier this morning, but I said I'm not going to take it out, I'm going to show it to you. So I'm using a plastic container to protect the peppers. Either they'll take time before they sense it, or the plastic will distract them from it. So this is just the effect of growing them short. But all in all, if you want to grow your sweet peppers short, for them to stay short and bare, that's the idea. Now something else is removing the first pepper that the plant sent forth. Now this one is a good example of when I did it late. I removed the pepper not too long ago between here. I moved it between here. And it only sent sent two, you know, because there's the other one. But because I removed it late, it um affected their growth. That's what I advise you to remove your very first pepper. Once you see the flower start developing, just remove it. Now I'm gonna show you the effect of doing that early enough. If you observe this one have two We've got one across the corner hiding there, and this one, same thing. I move them early. As soon as it starts to flower, I move them, and they're doing well. This one, even doing better. Send three instead of two, and this, look at that, someone top here. Same thing. This, I planted them late, so they are not doing anything yet. They just start growing. This one I rescued. As you can see, it's very yellow and tall I rescue this when it, when it recover and starts sending green leaf I might cut down to let the short same thing for here also similar are more tips than I thought when you allow in your pepper to grow when your pepper start growing when it's very young this is this don't let that happen I cannot fix it right now because it's too late if I try moving it it'll break don't let your pepper grow between the stem because when they get big they want to expand but they'll be wedged in between so you have to make sure it's dropping off like this so you see they're dropping away from the um, plant same thing like this one here it's dropping away from the plant but if it was in between here it will open up the plant and it might not even grow as big as it wants to thank you very much for liking Argo Sweet Backyard Garden Facebook page thank you for subscribing to your YouTube channel and if by any chance you have not subscribed I would like to advise you to subscribe to Argo Sweet Backyard Garden um, YouTube channel and also the Facebook link is in the description thank you very much and Argo Sweet is out